Yeah, no, it's awesome. Um, we were here 10 years ago in Japan, the Under-20 World Cup, uh, playing together. So, um, yeah, I was obviously delighted when I found out I was coming and even more so that Kieran was going to be here to share it with. And, uh, yeah, I haven't seen a huge amount of him because he's a lot busier than me with the with the schedule at the moment, um, working hard, as always. So, um, But, no, it's, it's definitely great to be out here with him and have him alongside me. And uh, I think hugely proud for the family they've been uh, trying to get updates but the problem is the neither of us are great with the phones to be honest so uh, they're full of excitement for the both of us so it's nice. Have you Karen has been involved since um oh, it's been it's been a brilliant experience um obviously got the opportunity in November um and since that I've loved it um it's awesome in terms of working with Jason um, you've got a guy there with so much experience, so much knowledge, so like it's been one of the best educational things that I've done in my career as a coach, uh, to be able to work with him and learn from him, um, and also to be involved in this environment with so many good coaches, um, to work with the calibre of athletes I get to work with every day in here, um, and even just the quality of people, like everyone in this environment is brilliant, so uh, it's a really kind of energising and positive environment to be a part of, so uh, since November it's been absolutely brilliant and then to have the opportunity to come over here and um, to Japan and be a part of a World Cup it's you know I'm absolutely delighted with it and uh, loving every minute of it. What's your memories of 10 years ago because that was a pretty good Irish team you were on? Um, it was uh, I remember the Six Nations I thought we did really we did really well and kind of had a few competitive games but the way they were, the way they were close and we ended up coming out on the right side of those uh, the England the Wales games and the French games and um, then when we came over to Japan and um, we did pretty okay against New Zealand that gave them a game and kind of played close to closer to our potential but then after that we had a good few injuries and we kind of didn't maybe finish as strong but um I, I loved that team and I loved uh, being over here uh, and even as well from a cultural perspective it was so different for a 19 year old coming over to Japan learning about the culture here um, and getting to play in some of the stadiums. I remember some of the support they had a, a load of people like going to the first game you're not sure how many people are going to be there and you go and there was bigger crowds than we had in any of our other games and a lot of the school children there as well. Uh, I remember they were cheering on Jack McGrath, they had signs out for Jack uh, and a few other players, so no, it was brilliant. Yeah, yeah we, we travelled, we were in um, Nagoya and Fukuoka. Um, I was actually finished, I was in school, so I was finishing off my uh, exams at the time, so I came out late, so I think you might have been somewhere else before. Um, but no, it was a great experience and hugely fond memories of Japan. Um, from that and the tour two years ago, um, absolutely love travelling around and playing rugby here. Like Kieran said, the support's amazing, um, and just from a cultural perspective, it's uh, very unique compared to what we're used to, and um, a great way to travel and learn. And um, you're like you, like Kieran said, you're with like your best mates and stuff, and a load of those boys from that under twenties World Cup are here now still. So. It's kind of cool for the two of us to be around Kieran in the coaching capacity and me still playing with the lads. But you know, you got the likes of Jack McGrath, Conor Murray, Peter O'Manahy, loads of lads who are still in in the environment here. So it's good. That was the that's the one fun you remember. The fact that the funny and fast and the half, that wasn't. It? Yeah. yeah. What's your memories of that one? Doing that and then. Watching on YouTube here, it's still pretty. Yeah. Nice. Uh, doing doing that and then getting beaten was the, yeah. my memory. <laughs> Where did the idea come from to do that? I think I think. Um, I don't know whether it was a, a group thing or. I don't. Know, I think we just felt like we were making a statement, but uh, it didn't really go in our favour. We ended up getting beaten in the end, but. Um, I, I was I was captain that day because uh, Pete was uh, unable to play, and so we discussed it and said we were going to do it. And it's obviously nerve-wracking to do to do that because you're not sure how it's going to go. Um, and then as I was walking to the pitch, the referee caught wind that we were going to do it, and he told me you're not allowed to uh, advance to the hacker. I was like, it's way too far gone. We got to do it. <laughs> so uh, we did it anyway. Um, 
but uh, yeah, it, it didn't get us the result we wanted. But in terms of an experience as a player, that was, geez, it was unbelievable to to do that and to get the opportunity to play against the uh, New Zealand for the first time. It was uh, and especially to do it with Reese as well. Like I always enjoyed playing with Reese. Most of my favourite things from rugby was having the opportunity to line up aside, uh, alongside Reese, whether it be playing second row and then he in the flanker or towards the end when I got a chance to play flanker with him, it was, yeah, they were always special. Just in terms of the kind of two-year track to get, I mean, is, is there any difficulty being a coach when your brother's on the team? Is there something, I mean, for both of you to answer that, is there sometimes you have to just separate the kind of brotherliness? Uh, the, probably the, 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 there's no difficulty at all, uh, but obviously you just try and make sure that everyone knows that you're treating everyone exactly the same, but I don't think, uh, luckily Reese is ex extremely good to work with and all the lads are extremely good to work with, so it's um, it's actually been a lot easier than you might think, because you might think it might be a bit of, uh, you know, Perception that your favoritism or whatever, but there's none of that, and uh, it's been really. Kieran doesn't to do. pick a team anyway. So yeah, it's, exactly. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I, for me anyway, like I, me and Kieran are so close, and like we lived together for the past three years, and well, before that as well. Since we were like, since I was 18, anyway, uh, we've always like lived out of home together and everything. So we're hugely close, and don't mind being in close proximity, spending a lot of time together, so from that end it's fine. And uh, I don't mind him telling me what to do when he's such an expert in his field and things like that. If it was outside of strength and conditioning and uh, that type of stuff, I might put the back up and uh, push away a bit. But um, yeah, there's no issues there. He's, I actually worked with him in his, his gym in Dublin as well. And I've seen before, well before he came into this environment, he's. Uh, like absolutely class at what he does and he does it in such a, a good manner that it's easy to take the information on board and try and impress him and make sure you make an improvement so um, no, it's a pleasure and I think all the lads are really enjoying uh, his input and the way, he, the way he deals with people so it's great.